Welcome everybody, Moist Critical here. <laughs> this is like this is like the Moist Critical setup. The mic is so big. I have the the Apple earbuds here. And um well, you're here, I'm here, and uh, the year 7 season 1 reveals today. This video is going to be in two parts. Obviously today's the um, Demon Veal thingy reveal and then tomorrow is the year 7 roadmap which I'm very excited for. I'm excited for both, but the year 7 roadmap more because we're probably going to know a lot of what's going to happen in this new season or year new year for Rainbow Six. But before, I mean, thankfully the reveal was supposed to be 10:30, but apparently TSM and Empire are on a third map, so I guess it's another hour from now. But I just want to say a few stuff. Yesterday, thank you for the support on the video. I know it was like just a cinematic, but so many people subscribed and ju they just had some discussion and stuff in the comments. I really like to see that, seeing how maybe Ella and Smoke join Nighthaven or not. And to uh, and to those new subscribers who subscribed because of that, hello, here's my ugly face if you want to see it. Um, but I say welcome to this journey or this mess of a channel. I upload Siege, obviously, but I also am trying to get back into Battlefield, and I upload a little bit of Formula 1 stuff here and there. So uh, hopefully you can stick around for this journey, and thank you again for subscribing. And also, uh, the last thing I want to say is I apologize for, like, the face cam. The mic is so gigantic in this preview. I had to, like, rush to get everything because the reveal for me is, like, 10... Well, it was 10.30 a.m., but now I guess it's 11.30 a.m. or something like that, so... I had to rush to get everything, but thankfully I didn't have to rush making this intro, so yeah. But anyway guys, let's hope this new year for Siege goes well, um, you know, I'm excited. For now I'm just gonna try to enjoy this last match of TSM vs Empire, hopefully Empire wins, so yeah, I'll see you guys then. Alright, here we go, that last match, TSM vs Empire, fucking crazy, loved it. But here we go. And welcome to Demon Vale. I'm Demon Kim Salzar Vail. Hadaway, and as you know, we are starting a new year of Rainbow Six Siege. And what better way to start than by welcoming creative director Alex Carpazas to share the team's vision oh, of the season. Oh, here's Alex. Here we go. So year seven, season one, is huge for us. And it's the season of game changers. We have Azami, one of the most complicated Azami, operators she is. we've ever had to make. It took over a year to make her, and she a year. brings a hmm. Let's see it in action, courtesy oh, of Chris Waters and Ubisoft News. Oh boy, Chris Waters. <laughs> it's me. Defenders. Have you ever thought to yourself, what if I could patch in Wait, my what? reinforced wall? That hollow on that gun? If I could just what? Ooh, to reshape the look battlefield. at her. And later in the season, you'll have an entirely new place oh. to play with your gadget with the arrival look at that map. of the Emerald Plains map. Emerald Plains. Oh, uh, Takarita. She has a deagle? Oh my. Oh, and the TDM mode. So, stick around to see all the updates coming. To Wait, was that a Russian sound Zafia's gun? What the fuck? Siege. <laughs> oh, he just got murdered. A zombie. Here we go. But a zombie oh, is actually sheesh. in the private sector, so we wanted to take a bit of liberty with her outfit, make sure that she can express that kind of duality. Some of nice nature. concept art right there. And that's how we ended up with this striking suit that Azami's wearing. When we wanted to talk about Azami's visuals, specifically her face mask, we wanted mm. a bit of mystery. I like there the face mask. This that looks is, pretty sick. Uh, and we actually oh, I saw that on Twitter. That looks beautiful, I must say. And I saw nice that too. Kind of analogy for her beautiful gadget. stuff. The cranes are very powerful. And there's the knife. Um, and we kind of see that in her operator icon as well, where the crane kind of transforms. Oh, what? Into her, her icon looks gadget, sick. Look at that. Are, we've also upped. Oh, know, what the shit? The oh my god. Can't wait to see Ash in more realistic form now. <laughs> what using the this fuck kind is of that? What the, the fuck? Work Did you do? hard to make sure will bring new life to our characters. What are they doing? They're just so having fun with that right now. <laughs> you can tell. Got to make sure. The Queen came pretty naturally. That's a very, very Oh, look at that. Shape. And when we saw it, we knew the King New King map is next. So a finally one first one time since 2019 some Burnt Horizon so without back. This is actually uh, sick uh, how they like explain how it's like being built and how it's used and stuff. It's so, so the cool. Oh. Oh. Look we're at gonna that. Have a kunai shaped device that you can uh, throw, and when it sticks, it will release a gas that will. Oh, dude, there's the gonna be so much new peaking angles. Surface. Oh my god. Dude, I would love to just throw some, throw that knife at somebody to like kill them. That would be such a funny kill cam. Something that you can throw and really be free in the way you want to deploy your patch. 
The role of Azami is really an anchor. You know, she's an architect. So you want her close to the objective. You want her close to your anchor player so she can Ooh, provide Ooh, that's a good one. The With the mirror thing. Them. You want her close to the That's a good the trick wall actually. That you're gonna... In terms of primary, she's equipped with the 9x19 SVN. She's the SMG that most people will Oh, know that's a loadout the right SMG. there. Capcan's SMG and then and the Deagle the and ACS impact well. nades. Oh which my is God. the uh, I feel like there may be a nerf coming but i don't know we have to alibi. see until and the tts weapon, if it's going to be good can't determine it yet i'm not going to be one of those people right. who just fucking uh, screams that the new operator is op operator when i haven't even gotten to play yeah. her yet <laughs> she works really really well with operators like bandits because mm, she can provide Bandit. covers he's one of my mains so this could be good before. she can create uh, where a garage door, you know, it's the big door. That's, that's usually. Oh my god! You can cover that shit it's up entirely. Oh my and god! There's a drone <laughs> right next to you that's begging to have a, a twitch drone go through, a grenade go through, and really deal damage to your bandit. But with this gadget, you, you cover can up the drone. Oh my hole. god! <laughs> you can block the yellow stairs and provide your your bandit with plenty of cover to. Yeah, you can still look through it, so it's not like entirely blocking it, which is In nice. In addition, she can also work really well with Mira. With her gadget, she can actually create. I feel like the mirror one is going to be used a um, lot, it's not, honestly. Again, it's not the same as, like, I could see it happening. Wall, but you can. So many players <laughs> will tell you that Velvet Shell is probably one of their favorite uh, season. One of the reasons for Velvet Shell, because we introduced my first Mira, season in Siege, which was a huge change for the for the meta and a huge change for the the way people actually played the game. And we're kind of hoping for the same uh, same thing with Azami. She brings such a really? exciting hmm. and such a Interesting. creative gadget. <laughs> We're my really god you cover up that shit the, the, the i feel like, like i'm gonna i, I really like the mirror the mirror strat mirror and the zombie i like that i think that's gonna be defense, used a lot a in my opinion i think so a new map hell yeah let's get a close look at where you'll soon be having close encounters here's level designer josem l renee emerald plains i think this is an irish map so the the map cool. is uh, set in Ireland. It's a uh, look at that style, classical Jeez, style a castle. castle. It was made that looks a sick. Club. Kind of reminds me of like Battlefield uh, Hardline, like Alcatraz for, the, for a little bit. Uh, the enjoyment of the guests, Man. but the second floor has still a more classical style for the uh, the. Uh, <laughs> look at the bear and the, <laughs> and the, the deer. The oh, that the looks deer sick. I like this area of the map right here. That looks so good. Wanted. Finding the location was, but uh, the outside part looks gorgeous. Thing, oh my god, reminds really me of Villa a little bit, right in the, but in the a little more bigger. Treat like when Bartlett I'm vibes. If it's like Bartlett, I'm gonna enjoy it because I actually next, loved Bartlett that's University. That's really <laughs> oh, look at that! So that looks so sick. I'm thankful. Thank you, Ubisoft. <laughs> During high caliber features. Attacker repick. I remember when this was shit on so during like 2020's Invitational. I like how it shows like what the operator has in that HUD right so there. I think that's pretty cool. It's cool. Team Deathmatch, here we go. Same operators and just have a blast oh on this game mode. And we Can't wait for like 5v5 Ash or something like and that. It was super fun to, 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 to read all the feedback. It was honestly overwhelmingly positive, which is why I'm, I'm super excited right now to announce that, well, this game mode is going to be coming in this season with all the awesome content that we've mm. already announced. This is Sick. a permanent game mode, so, so this game permanent, mode is here let's to stay. Go. And uh, we're super excited for you to jump uh, in. Ash has a more people she has a Russian site. This, uh, awesome I'm guessing Universal sites are a thing now. I guess they'll get into that later. We work really hard to, but do expect more update following uh, the release, such as. We know that you you want to see more maps to be added in the game mode. We're oh hell this. yeah, more uh, maps. We're, we're also looking at. Do you imagine this on Bartlett? That would be so that fun. Was also something that or was, house. Uh, that was imagine the house. <laughs> this next one is for folks who play as Goyo, or who play Goyo against Rework? Goyo. Is it Goyo <laughs> Rework? You, Teresa Rico, quality control lead from Ubisoft Barcelona. Has it's gonna wins. be it's gonna be the Goyo Rework. It's gonna be that. But he wasn't used like that. The main change we are oh, introducing yep. in Goyo right. Go Go rework. <laughs> that looks much so better now, actually. Be only the explosive canister. Could put it in some Things nice spots. Should encourage players to use it for what it was designed. Time and area denial. We are also increasing the number of canisters because you will need. Looks to like a lunchbox. Oh my so god. So it is less reactive than a smoke, and maybe not all of them will be impactful during the round. 
For more details, here's Sebastian. It's, you, it's gonna be Universal US sites because we saw the Ash with the Russian site. It's gonna be that. Tell me it's that. So Tell when we release new sites and scope in year five, season three, uh, we opted to uh, to distribute them in a way that would make each operator loadout feel special and unique. But we realized that players felt frustrated that uh, they didn't have access to all the sites. Exactly. The Nobody so wants to play with that Tesla Cybertruck Hollow. <gasps> one X sites on let's go. Players. So we'll be able to choose oh, let's any, go, dude. Uh, any sites that you... That That's that, I like that change a lot. I like that. Way. I like that a lot. Oh, dude, I'm gonna run that new red dot on so Our many PC ops. Players, and we're happy to announce that console players can now do the same. Mm -hmm. Here to introduce match replay Dub for consoles console players. is project manager, Mihai Lakatush. Offer this feature with the new season that is coming. So, first of all, I just want what to was let that? you know that <laughs> what was that kill? Always been oh in my God. Focus. We just stared at each other like nothing. To, to cool. Experience all the content <laughs> dropping with Demon Veil vale on February 21st. And mm, Monday. Cool. Oh. Here's an exclusive elite skin for Nomad. Enjoy. What Nomad? Oh. Oh, look at that. My friend's going to be very happy about this. She loves Nomad. Oh yeah, <laughs> look, it's Tomb Raider. <laughs> look, bruh, it's literally Tomb Raider. <laughs> that looks sick. Available February 21st, so Monday. Oh, sick. And February 21st, the live test server. Cool. <laughs> cool. Well, good thing I saved this for that moment and the new season as well, so. Okay, so, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that reaction. I apologize if it, if it was, like, fucking boring. And I apologize for, like, the spew of words in there as well. So I, I don't, I'm not really the type of person to, like, freak out or anything, because I, I look, I look embarrassing trying to do it. But I guarantee you, though, tomorrow will be the big day. But year 7, Season 1, Damon Veal, looking very good so far. Cannot wait for that. My favorite... Thing in there i would say is probably the universal sites i i love how you can use like russian sites on like ashes r4c for instance my phones and stuff will not stop shutting the fuck up. but I, the universal sites cannot wait to use them i i'm tired of having to have like being forced to use that tesla cybertruck hollow on like docs mp5 it's so annoying so ugh. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction to Demon Veal. It looks promising so far. Tomorrow's the big day, though, the Year 7 roadmap. So be sure to stay tuned for that tomorrow. And uh, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of Six Invitational. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.